What's poppin'? Smello back at you with another video. And today what we're looking at is the Unison Drum Monkey. Yeah, we not gonna waste no time. We getting da, 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 straight to the sauce. So Unison Drum Monkey is a drum generator. We're not gonna waste time. We are gonna get into it. We are gonna experiment with this thing. I'm gonna show you some things about it. You know, it comes with a bunch of bonuses and stuff like that, but let's get right to it before we get started. Be sure to put a like on the video. You know, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed and push the bell to get notified. So let's get into it. So let's get into some of the features of Drum Monkey. So you click this red button, the unison symbol, and boom, you have a drum pattern. Let's listen to this one real quick. So that's, you know, deep house and everything. We want to go to rap and R&B and all that stuff because that's what we're doing. So hip hop and rap. Let's click it again. Oh. Oh, yeah, we got the bounce. So we click it again and it'll generate a completely different one. And it's never going to generate the same drum pattern because I've been told there are trillions of possibilities. If you look at this right here, boom, you got over 30 genres you can choose from. When you're in the process of generating different patterns, you have a built in piano roll. So let's say with this one, I want to keep the hi hat patterns and everything, but I want everything else to change. I click the lock button right there, generate a whole new drum pattern. Everything else changes, except the hi-hat pattern, still the same. You can lock the samples the same way so that no matter what you do, they won't change. One of the great things about this has over 3000 sounds. So if you click the kick, you know, you could click here to change it to whatever you want, but you can go here and look at all the kicks that they have, but you can narrow it down to genre. I like Spy a lot, you double click it, boom, there you go. It also has the built-in ADSR, which is basically, you know, the attack, delay, sustain, release. You also have transpose, which that changes the pitch of the instrument. Let's go to the snare. We got a deeper snare now. Now you also have a built-in saturator, which is this fattener right here, which is very dope. So that's a real nice touch. Now, another fly thing about it is you can add whatever sounds you want to the pattern within the plugin. So we got the browser open over here. Let's open the combustion kit and let's go to kicks. Let's drop in one of my favorite kicks deeper. That's gonna be lock split. Once you have a pattern you like, you have the option to save it so that you can always go back to it. You can drag and drop the MIDI either stems or the combined version to your channel rack. Or if you want, you can drop the wave audio stems or the wave loop. into the piano roll. I'm just gonna go through some of the different genres at different tempos. We're gonna generate a few for those and then go through some other ones.
so you get the point it has a bunch of different bounces that'll sound good for any genre but again it has over three thousand samples three thousand let's get into creating with this bad boy i'm gonna try and make a dance hall beat one of the bonuses that this comes with is a bunch of midis and a bunch of loops and things of that nature i'm just gonna stick to the midi for right now I'm gonna build around that real quick. All right, so I got a basic premise of what the melody and the bass line is gonna be. So I got a steel drum. I'm gonna layer that with a mallet. So we got a harmony right here on a pad. I'm going to get to the drums now, let's get it. So we're gonna generate something right quick. Let's try that. I like that, drag and drop the audio. I'm not gonna stem it out. I'm gonna do it all combined. Hold it and throw it. Boom, we got it. I'm gonna go to the sampler. I'm gonna click stretch so that it can bend with whatever tempo I have. I'm gonna click this twice to make sure that it's off and it doesn't play while I'm playing with it. So I'm gonna do a few things with the drum loop. I'm gonna hit it with some RC20. Transient Shaper. Hit it with the Classic Clipper. Now, now we got it, now it's hitting. Now it's, now it's punching, like Tyson, come on, man. Bro, I've never even attempted to make a dance hall beat. And, and that's the first joint I made. That's pretty fire, pretty crisp. And the thing about it, I listen to a lot of dance hall. I've been wanting to make it for a minute, but I just haven't had the opportunity to get the drums that I need to learn the drum patterns. But with this, I don't have to. It's gonna make the drum pattern for me and I can adjust the drum pattern with the right sounds how I see fit. We got a fire beat. Let's do it again, let's do it again. We are gonna get back to the bread and butter, back to the basics. We're gonna make a trap beat. I got a trap chord progression from their chord progression pack that comes in the bonuses and things like that. Let's start with that. I'm gonna build on top of that. Let's animate the chords a little bit. We got whatever this is, a finish, whatever it is, this finished concert could tally. I'm definitely gonna favorite that bad boy because this is a nice instrument. time for the drum monkey we're gonna go to rap and hip-hop we're gonna put that kick right there we're locked in gonna put the futuristic hat right there and anything else we'll just let it do what it do so let's play it let's generate something else and go back and let's listen That's fire. I like that. That that works. Let's generate something else. Ooh. Let's 
All right, so now we're gonna take those audio stems, hold it, hold it, and Shazam, they're right there. Highlight them, drag them. We turn this off so that it doesn't play while I'm playing. Stretch all these out, stretch, stretch. I'm gonna clip the drums. Put an 808 over that thing. So you get the gist. I made two fire beats. Two fire beats. You seen the beats. You seen them. You see. Come on, man. You know. You know that's some good work right there. There are a couple things I want you to know outside of that. You know, this product is a limited release, so it's so only 3,500 copies for this release. And then after that, you'll have to get on a waiting list, so you want to get it fast. And on top of that, they got five bonuses. They only gave me three. And that's audio loops and over 2,000 MIDI files. You know, the bass lines, they got bass lines, melodies, chord progressions. Like, so you know, there's still other stuff. You'll have to check out the site to see what's on there. But you see, I really enjoy using it. I hope you do too, once you cop that. But outside of that, you know, comment, let me know what you think of the plug-in. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you thought about the beats. Let me know what you want to see, because I got more tutorials coming, more cookups coming artist specific of course for the most part but other than that i'll see y'all another day somehow some way i'm out